still in the ECG course, in level one in the fundamentals unit. We talked about waves, then segments, now intervals. Kind of gave you a sneak peek already that the interval is a wave and a segment. You saw this diagram in the segments lesson. Now pay attention to the PR interval and the QT interval. And look at where those start and stop. So the PR interval starts at the start of the P wave and ends at the Q or start of the R wave if there is no Q, the first part of the QRS complex. Then the QT starts at the start of the QRS and it goes to the end of the T wave. The end of the T wave. Here's PRI. Um, again, kind of looking at where the impulse is. I made a big deal of this in a previous lesson. The impulse originating in the SA node and then into the atria. That's what's making the P wave when the atria depolarize electrically, causing them to contract mechanically. Then you have the AV node holding the impulse for just a little bit. Then it goes into the His bundle and the bundle branches and finally down to the Purkinje's and that's when the ventricles um, become depolarized when that impulse makes it all the way to the end of the Purkinje's. And that's what we're looking at here now um, with P waves and QRSs and particularly the PRI, the PR interval or PRI. R to R interval we talk about sometimes, particularly when we're looking at regularity of a rhythm. The R to R interval, the R wave being the tall positive complex um, and really the, the middle, so to speak, of, of the QRS, so ventricular depolarization is halfway done um, at the peak of that R. And the R to R interval can be regular or irregular. And that's how we look at the rate no, I'm sorry, look at the regularity of a, of a rhythm. And the R to R is also how we calculate rate. So R to R would be a good one for you to know. QT I kind of talked about. QT interval uh, represents the entire process of ventricular depolarization during the QRS and repolarization during the T wave. So a QT looks totally at the ventricle's activity from it depolarizing and contracting to repolarizing and reloading, QT interval.